Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sticker in Canva that you can use anywhere you can put a image on the internet. All right, so I'm here in Canva and in the top right corner, I'm going to click on create a design and I'm going to select edit photo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a photo and I'm gonna turn that into a sticker. So Bitmojis are so last year, stickers of you or stickers of something you wanna create are right now. All right, so let me go to my desktop where I have an image and I am going to pick the image of my dog Frisboo. And we're gonna make him into a really cute sticker. All right, so I've uploaded it. Now I just click edit photo and there are gonna be two tools that you're gonna to use to edit this photo in Canva to make the sticker. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the photo and I'm gonna see effects and I'm going to choose background remover. So I'm gonna remove that background. It does a really good job. Um, I no longer ever have to go to remove.bg, which is a great site, but since I do most of my stuff in Canva and it now has a built-in background remover, I am totally good there. All right, so look at him, he's so cute. And now his little background is gone. So I'm gonna shrink him down because I want to actually change this background to something black. That way there's more contrast and I can see that next step I'm gonna do a lot more easily. So next I'm gonna crop just to get him a little um, tighter around him. But not too tight, all right, good. And then I'm gonna do and create the sticker or the border around him. I'm gonna click effects again and I am gonna look for shadows which is pretty new in the editor. I'm gonna select this glow shadow. So glow, and I am going to see controls. I wanna change the color to white. You can pick another color, but whatever you color you choose, it's gonna, you can't change it later. So I'm gonna pick white. I'm gonna turn the blur all the way down to zero. I'm gonna turn the transparency all the way up to 100. And I'm gonna turn the size up as much as I feel. Usually I'm thinking 30 is the sweet spot. And now I can see that little white border around him. That's so cute, like just like a sticker. You know, if you think back, I'm an 80s kid. So back to my sticker books, maybe I'll make it a little thicker. So it's just like a little smoother. Let's see, there we go. All right, cool, that's it. So that is now my Frisboo is a sticker. And what I want to do is actually now I want to go back to this black background and delete it so that there's no background. And I'm going to download him. Maybe I'll sh blow him up a little bit. That white border is there because I removed the black background. I can't see it. So I'm going to download, select transparent background, and it's processing. Let's see. All right. Let's try it again. Of course. All right. Download, transparent background, download. Perfect downloading and you're like why where am I going to use this okay one of my favorite video recording tools to make short videos for my students and um, is um, Flipgrid shorts so let's go over there and I'll show you how you can use this sticker so here I am in Flipgrid I'm going to record a short but I want to have like a little sticker of Frisboo to point up to in this corner so I'm going to add my effects photo and I'm gonna bring in that sticker, that customized sticker that I used. You can see it's just like a little, you know, next level over just uploading that whole photo. So now I have Frisboo right here and I can point to him and it's cute. Where else can I use this sticker? I can upload it in Jamboard. So, you know, if I wanted to respond to a student's uh, work, I could come over here to Jamboard. It's uploading. Now, unfortunately, there is not yet um, able the ability to add stickers in SpeedGrader in Canvas. I would love if that was a feature. That would be so great. And you could put these little personalized stickers, maybe a view, given a thumbs up, or something on students' work, which would be super, super fun. Uh, but you could definitely use these in a Canvas discussion board as a response. All right, so here we go. Let me set the background as black. And then I have that cute little sticker of Frisboo right there on my Jamboard. So I would love to see what digital stickers you wanna create in Canva. Um, I definitely think these are the next level over a Bitmoji, like make some personalized stickers for your students. 